What's your name? Robinson. Officer Robinson. Hey guys, so uh, we're at my accident scene and this is Officer Robinson. He pulled over to just make, I guess he's seen the vehicle with the hazard lights on and just was curious to know what was going on. But was that the reason why you like, oh, okay. So yeah, we're here because uh, I'm blogging my accident scene that happened as to uh, my ball joint had broke and uh, it, it caused me to spin my truck out and wreck my truck um, about two and a half weeks ago. So I'm just really getting out. So now uh, for my viewers and my page and everything else, legitimate, I'm documenting my scene. So you been here long? Uh, I can't say how long I'm gonna be out here, but I won't impede traffic or anything of that nature. All right, I just don't want you on the road stationary because people won't watch out for things very well, you know? Yes, sir. Thank you for stopping. Sure. All right. Have a good day, officer. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's what you got to do. When they are uh, being le illegitimate or trying to be illegitimate or whatever the case is, that's what you got to do. All right. So, right here, if y'all can see, you might see a, I was switching, I was in the process of switching lanes. I was in the process of switching lanes just how that vehicle did and my truck ended up going down and when it went down and the, that mean the ball joint broke the tire locked up i don't know if y'all see like y'all to see like a faint like right here like my tire locked up and it took me and then all right let's get we're gonna walk up a little more and start pulling me to the right and I almost, I seen the guardrail and I don't, and see at this point now, this is where the other tire I told you that was damaged, it started to spin. It started to spin. And so we're gonna keep walking. I don't, I don't think I hit the guardrail right here. I don't think I did that. I don't think I hit that. All right, we still kind of like in out of control at this point. You can see, you can see, we're gonna walk it. We walking. Tire marks. My truck. I mean, I went. I went. I was sideways. I was sideways. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Right, came back into my left lane. Came back into my left lane, right? And spun again. Now I told y'all, I'm spinning. End up spinning again. Right here, you see where my tire marks cross. My tire marks cross and We came across. And at this point, at this point, he go that one tire mark. You see that one tire mark? Because again, the tire locked up. And boom. Right here. And this is where the truck rested. Straight ahead. This is where it rested. And I guess, uh, when they came and got the truck, they kind of dragged it off to the side right there. And that's where they kind of picked it up. So, uh, um, and you can see down there, if y'all can see, y'all can see my tire marks all the way down there. Right? And so, uh, so, uh, and then just then guys, you know, my firearm, I went to go check my truck and my firearm wasn't in my truck and I didn't see it on the police report or anything like that. So I had to, uh, I let t the tow people know that there was a firearm in there and I didn't see it anymore. 
And I told them that I wasn't accusing them of stealing or anything. I just wanted to touch bases with them. And I had to let them know that I would have to report it lost or stolen at that point in time. And so the lady, the lady started getting aggressive with me. Um, it was two ladies in there. One lady had the black shirt on. She was okay. She was fine, very respectful. She didn't say anything out the way. Um, and she always had a good attitude since I've been over there today. But the other lady kind of flipped the switch and was like getting very offended and aggressive with me because in her mind, I accused them of stealing from me. And I wasn't necessarily accusing them, but more so just letting them know what was going on. And so, uh, and I'm talking about real aggressive, like to where we tried to kind of back out the lot, not to leave, but more so just to like get out the lot because another truck had came in and he almost sideswiped the vehicle that we was in. And so this is Hale's Towing. That's what Hale's Towing. And they towed it all the way to Rocky Mount. All the way to Rocky Mount. So um, she she came outside and was like, no, don't move. Don't go nowhere. This and that. Put your truck back. Put your car back in here. We'll wait on the police. Like, she was just really going crazy. So uh, so now um, we're, we got to wait until Wednesday to talk to the officer who initially arrested me on the scene and see if uh if he's seen a firearm in my vehicle which uh i found a bullet in my vehicle so i know i had a bullet in the head and so it looked like someone popped the bullet out the head and kind of took it you know i also had my ammunition bag too you know what i'm saying uh, and i don't see neither so god willing the officer uh put it in safe keepings is what they call it or submitted it into evidence okay um like I said, guys, one more, just give y'all one more little glance. There's a little tire marks. It did hit the pole and rested on top. The tire marks, as you can see, just lost control. You know, that, that ball joint, like, really, it really, uh, it really threw me. Really, though, there's three sets of tire marks over there. But it really threw me, guys. But, yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for watching. Again, I'm going to blog. I'm going to post content every day, guys, because, again, the real the plan is to get out of here because this place, this place is not easy being me. And this place won't allow me to be me. And that's uh, a man of God and an outstanding man of color. OK, so uh, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And we're going to get this taken care of, guys, because believe it or not, that night, a felony was committed against me and so we're going to take care of that okay i strongly believe that if that felony that was committed against me didn't happen then i wouldn't necessarily have a dwi under my belt okay but yes you guys take care make sure you guys pray and meet everyone with reverence and to find good common ground all right no negativity to negativity positivity to negativity okay all right thank you guys and have a good day